Hello everyone. Today I would like to show to you and demonstrate to you the four plates that I have from Nail Craze. I have shown these on here before. So today what I am going to do is I'm going to um, try to just stamp some of these images and test them out for you. I want to try this one on this plate. I'm not sure yet how easy that's going to be to align. But these are some really nice images and they're pretty big. This one's as big as your thumb. So that is NC1. This is NC2. I'm going to try this one. This one is a layering technique and it's very solid. So it may or may not work. This will be my first time working with these plates here. That was NCO2. Here's NCO3. I got this one for this sweater pattern here. I like this pattern here also. And the little dolls. And then, of course, NCO5. I mean, I'm sorry, NC4. So we're going to try these out. The polish that I have on today is a polish that I won from Mrs. MKB Lady. And this is the clean color in the sweet orange color. So this is what I'm going to wear today to stamp. And I will be using my Black Frost polish. Since I'm not crazy about this one, I don't mind using it up. That particular polish, I have said before, it kind of fades pretty easy when I put the top coat over it, even with my sesh bead. So what we're going to do is the first image, I'm going to clean these plates before using them with my Ace Tone. And I'm also going to go over my stamper. And I apologize if I'm talking kind of low. I seem to have woke up with a cold this morning. I kind of hate that since this is my birthday today and I'm feeling under the weather. Sometimes I don't know if it's anxiety, but usually around the holiday or my birthday, I just get kind of not feeling too well. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to start with this feather image and I'm also going to try one of those images down there with the butterfly. So we're going to try this feather first. Try to do that where you can see what I'm doing there. Usually I stamp my nails right after polishing them, but since I didn't feel too well last night, go. Hopefully you can see that. It stamped pretty good. It was bigger than my nail, so I got the majority of it on there. Okay, now the next image I would like to try is one of those butterfly things there. And I do want to work with this before I start doing this. And each of the butterfly images are right and left seems. And since I'm new to this um, kind of image here, I do feel I will probably have to work with it for a while before I get it aligned just right. So let's see here. Yeah, because I want more of the black on the edge. Like I got the butterfly part, but you're supposed to have more of the black on the edge so that you can um, put the white dotting tool on. But that's stamped. Hopefully you can see that really, really good. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try to align that more with that black edge and see what happens. So I'm going to try that one again. I'll be needing to work with that one a little bit more, but the stamping is good on these. The images are coming out clear. So now I'm going to move on. And I'm going to try this one here because this is the one that you layer with. So I'm going to try that. We're going to see how this goes. So for this, the first color that I think I'm going to try is 
white and gold with the black. We're going to see. I'm going to try this gold first. And I think this is the light bronze. I'm going to try that along the thumb. Which that bronze doesn't show up too good on the orange. So we're going to try it in just the black and the white and see what happens. And I'm going to put the white or the black on first. So these are couple of images that I will have to learn how to work with. Because this layering is really cute if you use like foil colors. Yeah, I'm not getting that one too great. So I'm going to try that again. On a different finger. See. I don't know, because this is a very solid image. I don't know if I might be scraping too hard. So I'm going to try a lighter scraping technique and see what I get. So I got more of the ridges there at the top. Let's see. Yeah, that one's not working out too great for me. So that is one for me to practice because I've seen it on their site and I like the way that it looks. So what I'm going to try now is these horses because these are the solid images. So I'm going to try that, see what happens there. Plus two, I'm not really very adept right now at working these types of images, but I'm working on getting there. Okay. Solid. I'm going to put it over top of the nail that I messed up. Okay. That's stamped. Let me do it over top of one that I didn't mess up so you can see. That bit right there, because my nail is smaller than that. Then we'll try this image right here, this solid one. So I'm going to move on for you to this plate here. And I'll try to stamp that sweater pattern over this one here that I messed up. So I really like this pattern here. It is what I got the plate for. But I would like to stamp this in other colors when I start working with it. But I am going to um, work with the butterfly part some more. And that layering one some more because I really want to get that. Okay, that is the sweater. And that stamped pretty good. I put that over the part that I messed up. So the sweater part stamped really good. And you can either stamp this that way or this way.
also, I think I'll try one of these dolls for you guys. I'll try to put that inside of here. Let's see how that does. These plates, they're pretty great. I just need to learn how to work with certain ones. Got it there. Let's see. And these images are bigger than the finger, so if you have larger nails, these are great for that. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to. It's got the little eyes and the little lips. So hopefully you can see that. I don't know if the over my table is interfering, but there we go. And I have two empty nails, so I will move on to the fourth plate. I really like this little image down here with the diamond. I like, I like everything on this particular plate, so I'll try to put something here on this finger. Picked up pretty nicely. Let's see, but I really like that feather image there. And I want to try another one for you, maybe one of these um, right here in the middle. I got part of that since my pinky is so small. Okay. So these plates stamp really, really well. But I am, like I said, going to practice the layering technique and the butterfly technique and then come back and do a look with those. So I wish that I had some of those um, practice fingers so I could do more stamping for you. So again... And this is NC03. NC04. NC02. And NC1. So these are some pretty nice plates. I got these off of the Nail Craze site. And that's all I have for today. So until the next time, everyone have a great day.